Hi all, Tom Rum here, and welcome to Night Bites, the new series where we look at the little, and not so little, updates for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. We got some interesting news that dropped on us about 35 minutes ago, but I feel like everybody should be able to just have a quick update and just find out what's happening, because honestly, I do find it quite interesting, and I want everyone else to know what's happening out as well. Let's start with the beginning, and that is that the roadmap has been updated. For those who don't know, that the roadmap originally showed some unrevealed information on both October and December for the story. It has now been revealed that we're going to be getting Chapter 1 in October and Chapter 2 in December. While that is interesting, that also means that we aren't getting core Final Fantasy story for Ever Crisis until at least January. This is very interesting for us because it has been a long time speculation that the next time we get a Final Fantasy VII chapter will be getting Sid. And if we follow the previous schedule that we had last year, we have a unit dropping pretty much in two days time, which is Angeal, and we have another unit dropping in January, which is most likely going to be Sid at this point. Obviously it's not been announced, but we can pretty much gauge what's happening but that's a nice little bit of information we know there's going to be two chapters coming out we know there's a new unit coming out obviously so we're going to have some interesting banners i hope at least drop and hopefully a brand new mechanic that drops for the unit because recently each unit has had a specialist mechanic built into them now with the news as you can imagine we're talking about this because when and jill a new unit drops naturally they have to give us a way to level them up they also have to give us a way to get his memories or more specifically his noble memories and i bring that up because we have this piece of information i'm going to be using the discord uh, just so let me see the notices i could bring it up in game but it allows me to bring up the stuff in the background as well so we can discuss what's going on at the exact same time Battle Tower Colosseum of the Chosen update. Yes, for those who don't know, if I just quickly hide away the screen, you can see that if we go into battle and solo content, under here is Battle Tower. This allows you to test out how good you're doing. As you can see, I'm at floor 97 of the Midgar Falls, which is the normal tower, and the rest of them are the Colosseums of the Chosen. Now, Colosseums of the Chosen are the way to call them is noble memory towers each of them allow you to get the specialist noble memories that take stat streams up to max while these three were regular we actually got another page which was built just for vincent drop now it's because these were released before vincent came out but we now have a new unit so we need another tower now we don't know who's going to be with him on this tower but what we can say is it's probably going to just be three units like they did with vincent as it was an interesting way to force players to learn to build units at a guess i would probably gauge something like zach and maybe a healer like matt Aerith, or maybe even red We've had a lot of discussion in the Discord saying that Red is getting something soon, so that would actually support that. What, I, what we'll have, I don't really know, but we'll try and go into it a bit more in a future video so you guys can hear what's going on. But for now, we want you to know that the Azure Tower is coming out at the exact same time as the unit dropping. This is going to be interesting. It's 30 floors, and if I remember correctly, each floor see if i can go into it actually gave us gems as you can see in the rewards in the bottom right each of my gems or crystals so it's going to be an extra i'm guessing around three thousand yeah about three about three thousand gems just in here alone from completing it so you're going to want to go through and try and get as much of this completed as possible what else has come to the game well we mentioned it earlier but new chapter, The First Soldier, Episode 2, Chapter 1. This is going to be a story based on Sephiroth, but having Angeal in it, 
And as we have recently found out, Ang Chil is going to be Sephiroth's commander in this fight, or at least in this story. Will it be for the entire thing? No, I can't really say because we don't really know. But we do know that as of right now, and at least at this point when it starts in the story, Angel is a second class soldier. And when he goes through, he also carries his Buster Sword, which, if anyone knows, he doesn't actually like to use. He's very protective of his Buster Sword and only uses it in very core fights. This means that we're going to probably see it as part of his outfit going forward instead of it being a weapon. Now, we have, and it doesn't actually show it on here outside of just like saying, hey, this is called Wutai Secret for the chapter. But a little bit of information that we got recently is the limit break that was shown specifically for Angeal is a actual reference to another Final Fantasy game, if you know it. If you've played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, then you, a little bit of a spoiler, I hope warning now, Zack is a playable character in it, only for very limited chapters. But Zack has a limit break that is the exact same as Angeal's. This is quite interesting because Zack's tutor is Angeal in the current timeline, or at least in First Soldier in the future. So we're going to be able to see little versions and little hints at story of an Angeal that we never got to see before. Maybe it's learned some more story about the overarching story of Final Fantasy VII. Now, we have a new unit, we have new story, and we have a new tower. So that's great, we have a way to get memories, we have a way to get some crystals, we have a way to get some story. But we're going to need a way to level them up. Yes, we have a golden bomb rush. For those who don't know, the bomb rushes are... They're a really quick way to level units. If you are a new player, this is your opportune time to level, level, level. You're going to get so much experience from this. What you need to do, just equip on your equip onto your units some sigils, preferably one of a triangle, a circle, and an X. On the units that are not leveled up, equip them onto it, and they're going to go in and just break. They're going to every time they do it, they get a bunch of experience. That'll be for the bombs. When you're dealing with, with these flying enemies, I can't remember the name of them right now, you actually want to take in a proper team to actually fight those. But by doing this, you will be able to level up your unit extremely fast. Now, it doesn't actually point out here if the crystals are going to be refreshed. I believe they are. But do not quote me on that. I can't be 100% sure on this. Now, that's pretty much everything we know outside of hey there's a version 2.1 coming out right now we're on 2.0.2.0.1 we did see that there is some very small updates coming such as the brands feature this will allow you to use multiple brands at the same time again we'll go over that in a future video to explain because i feel like it deserves its own video a function called the story beyond Honestly, we know nothing about this at the moment. So again, that will be connected to another future video. And that, hey, Expedition Bonus is getting improved. The effect of the improved Chocobo exchange lineup from the Guild is going to be even better. So they've definitely listened to the community because for those who don't know, and let me see if I can just show it up on the screen really quickly. If we go over to the Guild, this is Nightclub 9, and this is Nightlight's personal guild. We go into the guild bonuses. We did 50 levels in this. People really do not care about Chocobo because it's really that bad. Honestly, we leveled it because I insisted, hey, I really wanted this max level because everything else was max level. What else is happening? Well, it does say that there's going to be some other stuff coming in. Uh, the size of the app will be reduced. It's going to be interesting. That might actually be very useful for phones that are running out of space. But we do have some actual items, event preparation. So there's going to be a new event coming in, um, a new app icon. That's interesting. But then it's just the usual stuff. Hey, heads up, if you've got co-op, 
it's going to be thing. If you've got suspended dungeon data, you're going to be completely discarded from it. Additional downloads may occur. It's going to take some time for the new version of the app to be reflected in the store. Yada yada yada, the exact same. But that's essentially the news. We've got a bit of information. Bomb rush, hey, max level, get everything sorted. Some new story and a new tower. Tell me what you're interested in about this. Tell me if there's anything that you're really not looking forward to in this notes. Or if there's something that you really want to see in the future that you haven't seen in this game yet. This has been Tom Rum. In the notes for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Thank you and take care all.